Janie's on a vacation far away. You know she had to go ice fishing. Hey guys, good thing I'm a fishing guide, not a singer. Donovan Pierce coming at you from Blackwater Cats Outfitter. I'm here to give you a little preview. I'm gonna give you a little bit of update on the bite in Lake Winnipeg. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you this new, well, kind of new Otter Pro X over. So this is the um, this is the Lodge XT Pro X over. I pretty much got all the bells and whistles on here. Uh, additions that are not really optional in my opinion. You've got the uh, the flip over hitch plus the regular hitch, making it easy to store in the back of the truck there. Um, Otters, obviously, industry leading construction and durability, well known for. This is a really cool flip shelter. I don't do a lot of fishing in tents, but uh, when I'm out on the sled and I'm scouting, this is my go-to, or like I say, if I actually get a, a day to go fishing by myself uh, for fun, there's, there's just no, no way you can beat uh, getting out one of these flip shelters for comfort and mobility. So Otter has these uh, quick release uh, tubes here with the side doors. They got the two side doors here for easy access, plus they still got the front door right there. Pretty simple operation here. I can pretty much do it with one hand. Pop it in there like that. And, uh, and there you go. And you can unzip these side doors pretty quick and easy. You got one on each side, just like that. And there you go. Nice airy, sh air, airy shelter. You got the front door, you got the side doors. Uh, these things go pop back into place really quick, just like that. One thing I've noticed with uh, these Otter flips over the years, having the, like assembling, getting a new one every year or every second year, just how the designs have changed and how, you know, an already solid beefed up shelter becomes even more beefy. You know, they got the square tube framing, which is even more durable, but far more durable than the circular tubing. You know, they got the, these things here, they got the quick, uh, quick attach clips here in these things. Like you used to have to assemble all these poles and bolt, put the bolts and washers in there. And quite often they'd rattle, rattle free or whatever. And you had to put some Loctite or something on there, but now they just snap into place. Super warm shelters, well insulated. You don't get any frost or water dripping on the inside. Uh, obviously, Otter's tubs are uh, renowned for their durability. There's videos on the internet where they basically can drive over them and they still pop back into place. Also got the little access door back here. So when Buddy's going to come over and say, Hey, how's the fishing? He sticks his head in here. Now, you know, you've got a nice small space there so he can't, he can't invite himself in, but he can just poke his head in there and get information from you. Or hand you a cold beer or a sandwich, you know, something like that. But I got a lot of little cool features here. Uh, this is the sportsman's caddy. I love this thing. A lot of guys use this for um, tackle and, you know, extra gear and stuff like that. The way I'm set up, I'm, I, I like to, uh, I put foam in here and I put a sunflower heater. I am not a buddy guy. Like, they're nice little heaters, but just endless problems. If it's too cold, you get snow dust and just, you know, just every trip when i got a bunch of people with buddy heaters they're just cantankerous and like they throw great heat when they're working and you can baby them but you got to talk softly to them and wrap them in foam and make, like it just they're just not reliable so even though um a sunflower heater is an overkill for the shelter like big time it's just reliable to me i never have to worry about it working i i bypass the tip over centers i usually strap in a propane tank here in a milk crate and I never have to worry about heat. It always works. So the only thing is I, I like to wrap this thing in, in foam in here. So when you're, you are bouncing around on the ice, you're not wrecking your heater. But uh, yeah, I, I always go with that over the buddies. Really, a, a buddy heater is plenty though if you're gonna, in one of these shelters for heat. Um, so I've got the flip over captain's chairs. This shelter is pretty fully loaded. I've got the cargo net in the front. I've got the, like the hammock here. In the, in the middle in the back to put different things gloves things storage whatever i got the coat hooks the coat hooks up top here too one thing new i just installed is this uh the, the storage and battery tray it kind of bolts in here now ladies you're probably going to be pretty impressed by this i'm going to get some flack from the guys but i did something i actually read the instructions i know I know, what am I? Am I even a man? Do I have to turn in my man card? But no, you know what? I followed the instructions and you know what happened? I installed it properly the first time.
So there is something to be said about that, you know, less dr beer drinking and more productivity. I know I'm going to hear it from the guys, but you know, just, I am on the market now, ladies, and I'm following instructions. So just, I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, um, I got the otter, uh, towel here. These, uh, these are nice little terry towel things or whatever you hook up to your shelter clean your hands when they're wet and i've got the light bar the three strip led light bar or is this a two strip this is a two strip so it's a two strip led light bar it's actually pretty bright in here it illuminates this thing's pretty good um now you can actually add more it's got clips over here you can actually add more if you want i just ran it down the frame i keep it stored over here it's got the controls in here on the side and this will plug right into you can put a couple of 12 volt batteries in here lithium batteries and uh, hook to there and you know nice and sturdy nice and, and there's so many mods you can use all kinds of mods on the internet guys making all kinds of stuff ian cranston there at arc lab here in winnipeg he makes uh, additions for these shelters and whatnot so anyway that's uh that's the walkthrough of the the otter pro uh pro x over lodge so pretty snazzy pretty snazzy what else here oh yeah i've, I've also got the tow hitch behind here so the guest ever needs is uh is a shelter toad or, or whatever if you want to link a couple of them together you can put that there in the back so and there she goes so that is your blackwater cast walkthrough of this uh auto lodge pro x over so anyway guys i promised you a fishing report i'm gonna give it to you so lake winnipeg it's been a finicky year like there's lots of fish around it's been tough to get them to go we are catching fish we're still catching big ones it just hasn't been what we're accustomed to and what we're used to however that is starting to turn we've been uh we've basically isolated a lot of the pods of fish since day one this year and we've been rotating through them just trying to find their bite windows what's making them go uh i posted about those pelican the new pelican flash bombs we designed out of the old j bomb with the extra flash and downsize using live minnows those have really been triggering bites this last week's been pretty good we've been actually getting uh days with multiple master anglers and good action and stuff like that and kind of away from the crowds too so that's been really nice but um, yeah, you know what, what's, what's typically going to happen though is it happens every year. Is late February, there's going to be groups of fish that move down. The fish are going to go on the move and it's going to be able to put the feed bag on. So we still have openings through February. We've got some slots in March. We are very busy coming up and we're still driving in trucks right now. So you know what, if we don't get much more snow, we're kind of getting to the verge right now where if we can avoid any big snowstorms, we might be going in trucks all year, boys and girls. And it's long overdue after last winter. So anyway, Dom and Pierce, Blackwater Cats, that's your Otter Pro Resort Exo or Pro, pardon me, Pro Lodge X Order over uh, walkthrough. And uh, that's your fishing report for Lake Winnipeg. Love you guys and I'll see you out in the ice.